Greetings, ladies and gentle Go players. It's another wonderful Monday. This is April of 2024, making it a wonderful day for the murder. And I have to ask, does being respectful to your opponent actually pay off? Because I think it might actually be the case. I don't know very, very low data set to work from, but it might. It just might. You see, here's a game coming up that I played a revenge match in. I lost my first game against this guy. For reasons that I will be mentioning, I think, at the... somewhere during the video. And I will definitely be going over at the end of the video, showing you the, the, the first game. But because of how the first game ended, it's really interesting how this second game is going to end. It, it makes me wonder, do you have like similar interactions with players in this way? If so, do let me know in the comments down below. Maybe this was random. Maybe it was a one-off. But it does have me thinking. So watch the video to the end and let me know what you think. Also, I hate to be that guy, but I've also noticed lately that... 35% of the people who are watching my videos aren't subscribed, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like the videos, because over the past two months or so, I've noticed that is a thing. So yeah, it's nice to have you here. Go ahead and hit that button down there. Let's get into the game. All right, got a little bit of a rematch here. I'm going to try something that I've probably shouldn't be doing. I've brought back my pen. First game against the person, I played the wrong move after I said I wasn't going to play it because I was highlighting moves. I've, it's been a while since I've used uh, the, the pen tool, and I, I want to go ahead and add that back into my games. Um, so here, for example, he's got a one-point jump. I don't know why he played it, but it's fine. Let's we'll go ahead and play here. Moves that we might want to play some point in the future are going to be this one. Obviously, the enclosure. There's also an approach. For now, we're just going to go ahead and chill. It's no big deal. He can stay low here with his little one-point jump, and that's completely fine. That is A-O-K. -okay. But yeah, just, the other game, I just, got I just actually got done saying, we're going to Atari here instead of here, and I atari the place where I said we weren't going to Atari. That was its own special kind of stupid. <laughs> uh, go ahead and pencil here. He has this one, so he doesn't want me going underneath, but I will still. I don't really mind. Uh, okay. He does that, so we're going to go ahead and push cut. Now, this is a weird sort of attemptive gotcha moment. Um... Regretfully, it's not that great. Like, here into here, right? So, I, so I can't do this one? I could still do it, though. I have to consider what I want to do. If I play here, he plays here. If I cut him anyway, he's going to play here. I'll, I'll go ahead and respond to it. It's fine. That's what he wants to do. Yeah. So, maybe this one next? Is it, is it, I think this one has to be the nut. Okay, so do this one instead. Okay, um, sure. Uh, okay. Now he has a ladder. That's completely fine. So we're just going to go and play here and then connect. So we're, we're okay. It's not a big deal. He can't drop down. And now he has to do something here. But we're already fine here. So there's no reason not to just go ahead and cut and extend. Right? Like, if we want to do that, we can. Don't have to right now, though. Uh, this bottom area here hasn't really done anything. We settled completely peacefully over here. We'll go ahead and just take a corner for now. And then go back and cut him later. Uh, as you know, at the moment, pincering is uh, meta, so we're going to go ahead and do that. He didn't like that idea. We'll connect, and now because he did that, 
we now have this one that's available to us as well. Is he going to cut me? Okay. I think we're going to Atari down and then extend down. Yeah, we're not going to play here. We'll just go and do this one. <clears throat> Actually, I could just extend down, extend here immediately. Hmm, I don't think I do. I, I do want this uh, extension. Here, 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 and then we'll just go ahead and play here. Um, well, now I'm confused. Uh, I mean, okay. Here's his win condition. We've got really good territory in the corners. Um... <clears throat> what do you want to do here? Tough decision. We could make a big area here because this is like 30 points or whatever with Comey, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, this is about 30 points right here. The 3-3 three, three is still open, so I don't really see a reason not to other than he 3-3s three, at that point and I have to figure out what I want to do there. That's a little bit, you know what I mean? I think I might just take my corner solid, honestly, before he, like, 3 threes it. Or we can go back into... I don't really want to play this one. I could also just play something simple like this into a surround. Yeah, let's just go ahead and play over here. Keep it low. Threaten a surround for a kill. Fully surround the corner. This is now worth nothing, so this is his only win condition. Since he did make a two space here, we could cut through the two space since there's also this cutting point here. Like if we get like a thing here while he's chasing and keep me from running, then we look kind of like this Han and surround and then off with its head. Well, that seems dangerous. What are you doing here, sir? He's just going to give me the big corner. That seems crazy. That's that's crazy. There's no way he's giving me the corner, right? There's no way he's giving me the corner. I'm kind of fighting myself this game. I, I can, like, feel my thought processes right now. I saw a game recently that was extremely solid and basic at a professional level. And it's got me thinking again. I'm overcomplicating my games. You know? So now I have, like, this... I don't know. I, I don't know what to call it. Like, um... Uh, alert? In the back of my head when I'm thinking about moves, like, are we doing too, are we like trying to be too complicated? We're overcomplicating things again, aren't we? Like, maybe we should just, you know, not do that. All right, so he's fine with not being alive, I guess. Yoyomi now starts. So this shouldn't be alive, but I'm not sure how to kill it. If I play here, he's going to play here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, he's going to go after... He's going to try to go after this kind of thing. Okay, now he can't. So I think this is just going to die now. I'm making sure that this is 100% completely fine. Here, 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 here. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. All right, we're going to do this one. I don't care about this anymore. This is like a free reduction. I, I, I'm like kind of happy about this. Remember, win condition. The Hane here just now kills. Even I can read that crap out. He took. Why'd he take? That's weird. That's incredibly strange. So now we're just alive. So how is he gonna how is he gonna win? 
Now we're alive here. There's a 3-3 three, three still. I'd like to go ahead and grab this. Oh, he's going to 3-3 three, three me. Okay, we got this game. Now, if I play here... Well, actually... Actually, actually, actually... No, I won't, I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Yeah, this is fine. Um... Changed my mind. This is always a bad thing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna play here. I don't want him to connect. He's gonna pincer me. Like again, I'm being too complicated, right? Oh, he resigned. Really? Okay. I mean, that was. Do I use this video? Maybe he thought. He's going to play here. He has to answer it, or I get to go back and do the thing. I have to play here. He has to not be dead here. Which means I get to play here. He's got to defend this. And then he's just going to be down on territory. Maybe maybe that's what he thought. Because this is fine. This is, this is live. I, I can't kill this, right? If I um, go and be like, hey, you're dead. I've got to be able to hold this cut, which is a bit difficult to hold. Like, you got to be very careful on how you play this out, right? It's like, I don't know, can I really hold it? I don't know, you know? Let's go and consult uh, the AI 5000. Oh, yeah, I've got one game to rank up. And then while I'm at it, I guess I'll show you the first game, the revenge match that was before this. All right. Um, so it's possible that yeah, he did. He did realize that uh, he's behind because you can see here uh, next to me in the AI, the green. I have never actually gone over this. <clears throat> the green is actual, and then uh, blue is estimate. So we got to the end of the game. I'm at a ninety-nine point eight percent chance to win, because unfortunately the three-three is just like not a thing. Um, it looks like he doesn't have really any chance to win at this point. Because like I mentioned, he can go ahead and live here. But he doesn't have any win condition right now. He's got this. This isn't secured yet. And if he does go back and secure it, right then this group is in trouble. So he can't really do that, I guess. So he's going to have to do one of these moves again. Uh, let's say he does something that's not completely insane. Immediately, you can, re you can reduce. If you don't reduce, and we just give this to him, again, we could do. Let's say we don't. That's his now, right? Oh my god, it's still invadable? You're kidding me. Is this really still invadable? Is this really still invadable? I would have sworn you can't invade this anymore. I, I would pay, I would have like said, no, it's impossible. I don't know. Maybe there's a variation there, man. AI seems to think that it is. So, fine, 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 fine. Let's say he doesn't play there then. Let's say he plays there. Now that's his. Uninvadable. Can't invade it. 100%. Ain't happening. Uh, then we get the kick, like I mentioned here, to kind of defend this, and then play over here. And yeah, we're at a 99.9 .9 to win, so he, he can't really come back, right? He can't really come back. And if he doesn't give me this, or if he'll go back and live here, then this, these are just mine. Right? These are just mine. Not very accurate performance report. I'm only at 61. Opening was at 84. Which is okay. And then like a 50 mid. Now let's look at, take a look at the first game. So this first game, uh, I took black and I was trying to get a framework against him. But I couldn't get a framework against him, so I was very, very unfortunate. Uh, we approached, did normal things. As you would expect in a game, he pincered me very, very wide, which is an interesting move because it allows you to do things like this 
Um, AI is even okay with a jump right now. And then playing this one, it's, a, it's actually fine with that. Uh, I took the very, very simple variation of playing here, here, into here because it allows me to play this one, which again is completely fine. Very, very, very normal opening. Uh, at this point, I was also highlighting moves on the board where you would, uh, should consider playing for both players. Fantastic stuff. He jumped out. I pointed out the reasons why you probably don't want to jump out here or here. They're a little bit too slow. This one also a little bit too slow, so your options are pretty much either jump out here because this should be fairly safe, or you could play here. It's a little bit safer, but it allows white to play here later on, unfortunately, and uh, get a table. I did go with that one, however, and he cut me, which we figured he was going to. Everything here is progressing as you would expect. He takes some forcing moves, just like so. And then, sorry, then he connects, I have to take, and then he connects like so. At that point, I went ahead and defended here. Um, if I remember correctly, he poked at me, I defended. He poked at me, I defended, and then he jumped. Now this is okay. You can jump right here right now because this is not completely alive yet, right? If you just poke at it, he responds, you can throw in, and then he's dead in the corner. So it's very awkward because he can't make an eye here, right? So you got possibilities to kill in the corner. I tried to be um, a bit more of a good example of playing solid, so I just played here. He took that one, and then I even played here just to settle. Now, this is still not bad. This is actually still not bad. Like, right now, I think I was at a uh, 90 chance to win. Everything's good here. And then I mentioned the importance of how to handle this. I said you don't want to go ahead and just live because he goes and reinforces and then you lose your cuts. He gets good shape. We don't get to ever cut him ever again. So it's important not to just go and make life right now. You want to create Aji first. Very, very important to create Aji first. So how do we create Aji? Well, glad you asked. First... You create the Hane. He cuts your stone. Does he have the ladder? Ooh, darn, it looks like he's definitely going to have the ladder because an approach over there is going to be a thing. So you want to Atari on this side and not this side. And guess where I clicked? Yep. Mm-hmm. I was highlighting moves, showing where you do and do not want to play, and I did not have the highlight. I I, I clicked to the wrong spot. Because now you're screwed. There's no way out of here. Like the extend, you're bound. Like you can go here, but you're now fully surrounded. There's almost no Aji here to speak of anymore. And uh, yeah, you're not you're not doing you're not doing good. You can try to do this, but like honestly, where are we going? We can try to fight this, but it's 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 not it's not great. It's not great. It's very important to get this move in first, and then go back and live. Because then he has to make a very big decision here, right? Like, if you go back and live here, if he defends, you're already alive, right? You're already alive. So you can just chill. And at that point, where is his territory? He gave you the right, you're alive on the bottom, and this group will never die. 
it's not it's not surrounded so it literally can't be attacked right now his only territory is this corner so black is in a fantastic position plus you kept these two groups separated with this hane here this is a fantastic board position that a don player should be able to uh be very very comfy with The other board position, on the other hand, is one that you're not going to be comfy with. Because you've just strengthened him. Like, even if we go back and do this right now, we now have to go back and live. He's now got more. In fact, at this point, since this is so much stronger, he could probably just surround, I would imagine. Oops, sorry. He can probably just surround and now it's... It's not... The game isn't over. Because there is still Samaji here. And you could probably do things like... Moving for sacrifices for the outside. Things like that. But the game isn't done done. But... It's a lot more painful. It's a lot more painful. Out of curiosity, I checked it with the AI, and yeah, that thing right there, just flat lines. You go from like 90% to good luck. Good luck, you're done. So, unfortunate. I played a couple of more moves just to see if it is going to go the way I thought it was. This is the actual game. And yeah, it went the way I thought it was. And it's like, yeah, there's nothing we can really do here. So I resigned. Because yeah, he cuts. And then I recognize there's nothing I can do from this point forward. Now maybe it's because I didn't waste his time in the first game by drawing out uh, a game where he's clearly... He's clearly got the butterboard position. I made I made a mistake. I tarried on the wrong way. Maybe that's why he bailed on this one too. Maybe he's like, you know what? This is a bad board position. He didn't waste my time in the first game. Maybe I'm not gonna I'm just not gonna waste his. So maybe that's that's how we got here. I don't know. It's an interesting it's an interesting one. I almost wanna message him and ask him about that. You know? I, I kinda do. I kinda do. Either way, that's my very respectful Murder Monday. Only, didn't have a lot of murdering, but it had an interesting interaction. Don't often find that on Fox. I'll probably be thinking about that for the rest of the day. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be remembering this guy. So cool. Hope you enjoyed. As always, see you next time. Okay, everybody.